one gets a little confusing. Um, and the reason why this one's a little bit more confusing is, well, first of all, let's look at our angle relationships. We know that these two angles are supplementary, right? They make up a line. They're a linear pair. But the problem is this has a y and this has an x. So to say that they're going to add up to 180 is just not going to work. Our other issue comes into how are these angles related to each other? We see that they're on opposite sides. These two lines are parallel. Sorry. So this is our transversal. All right. Now we see that these two lines are, are these two angles are alternating, right? One's above it, one's below it. So then they're on alternating sides of the transversal. So then you'd say, all right, well, they're in their alternate interior or alternate exterior, right, Dennis? Has to be one of them. But this angle's interior, right, because it's inside our parallel lines, that one's exterior and that one's exterior. So if you look at this, I have it one interior and then one is exterior. So then it takes me, all right, well, let's forget about then alternate exterior, alternate interior. Let's look at corresponding. I'm just going to turn it into that top box. Corresponding is, remember, when ang one is angle is interior, one angle is exterior. But the problem with corresponding is they have to be in the exact same place of the intersection. See how notice how this one's in that right-hand side? So therefore, if these were corresponding angles, I would have to say that that angle is going to be what, Camillo? What would you say that this angle is? How are these two angles related to each other? You know? Uh, dun, dun, dun. These two angles relate to each other. Kale, do you know? All right, let's just draw a separate figure. How do these two angles relate to each other? Anybody know the definition for those two? Yes? Yeah, they have the same measure because they have parallel lines. But what do we call them? There's only been four, ladies and gentlemen, that we've gone over. Alternate interior, alternate exterior, consecutive interior, and corresponding. Corresponding. One is interior, one is exterior, and they're in the exact same position. So remember, corresponding angles, when you have parallel lines, are exactly equal in measure. So you can say that that angle is equal to 3x as well. I didn't write it in there. But you can assume, you know, you don't have to assume, you know that now that is equal to 3x as well because you have parallel lines and those two angles are um, corresponding. Well, now you have these two angles that share a side and a vertex. Therefore, we know they're adjacent. And those adjacent angles make up a line. So we know they're supplementary. So we call them a linear pair. So therefore, I can say now um, 9x plus 12 plus 3x equals 180. Why? Because those are supplementary angles. So now you've got to solve. 9x plus 3 is 12x. Plus 12 equals 180. Subtract 12. 12x equals uh, 168. Divide by 12. 9x plus 3x plus 12 equals 180. 144, 156, 168. So that would be 12, 13, 14. Yes? Yes? No? Anybody? Okay. Good talk. Um, so now, ladies and gentlemen, if we know what x is, now, can I determine what this angle is? 3 times 14. Yes, 3 times 14, 28. So that's going to equal 42. So now, I know that this angle is equal to 42. And if this angle is equal to 42, how do, what do I know that these two angles relate to each other? How do these two angles relate to each other? Anybody, grab bag. Anybody who wants to raise their hand. How are these two angles related to each other? They make up a what? What do these two angles make up? Yes, Damon. Supplementary line. Yeah, because they connect to make a line. So they're supplementary. So therefore, I can write the equation 4y minus 10 equals 42, which are supplementary. So now I solve.
So there you go. Now I've solved for x and for y. OK? OK. So. Um,